Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. It is being reported by F4W Online that at this year's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view extravaganza. Now, it was on WWE.com this was reported, but at that time it was only speculation that Dean Ambrose and Biggie Langston will respectively put their United States Championship and Intercontinental Championships on the line in a unification match uh, at the pay-per-view. Now, remember, Dean Ambrose and Biggie Langston respectively wanted either a steel cage match or a scaffold match. Now, I'm sure we're not going to get a scaffold match, but we could potentially see a steel cage match, but then again, probably not since it's the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Now, there are a lot of things that WWE has done. There's a lot of choices that I, quite frankly, haven't seen their way. But in my opinion, this is a smart move. This is crucial because with the talent pool not as strong as it used to be with a lot of injuries, a lot of releases, a lot of superstars on bad terms, a lot of superstars not being utilized, making one champion at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, in my estimation, is the way to go with this thing. And, you know, WWE is really looking far with Big E Langston. You know, they, they see a lot of potential. But obviously, Dean Ambrose is a rising star. He's a he's going to morph into a great singles competitor one day. He has already established himself as one of the greatest United States champions of all time, or should we say of the modern era in the, in the WWE PG era. But in my opinion, you know, I'm happy about this. I'm amped. Now, the last time we seen the United States and Intercontinental Championships unified was in Survive was Survivor Series 2001. I think it was when Edge uh, unified both those championships. Or Edge was the United States champion at that time when it was the WCW United States title. But this is the WWE. So this is almost like the first time ever that this is occurring. So, um, uh, yeah, a, a title unification match. Uh, let's just hope that they keep the Intercontinental Championship and, you know, just retire the United States Championship. So your comments and your opinions on what will definitely be a major step moving ahead for the WWE in my estimation. Now, how do you feel about this, subscribers? Do you think the United States title should be retired? Should the Intercontinental title be retired? In my estimation, I think a long time ago when Eric Bischoff retired the Intercontinental title, when it was Triple H versus Kane at No Mercy 2002, I thought that was an awful mistake. I thought that Eric Bischoff, you know, made a bad move when, when he decided to retire the Intercontinental title. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin would bring it back and reinstate it. So what championship do you think should stay? I think it should be the IC title, especially with all the lineage and the prestige and, you know, the, the historic significance that it holds. No doubt that the United States title has seen its fair share of superstars, but this is a WWE-related title. It has been there since the beginning. Subscribe.